next contestant, C.T. Polson. I would just like to start my sentence tonight by uh, squashing a rumor that's going around Comedy Works. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the bastard child of Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, I look nothing like him, really. Uh, Bob Ross had a full head of hair, and as you can see, I'm lacking in that department. I look more like Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd's child, that's why. I look something like that, man. If Bob Ross was Happy Little Trees, my father would be a pissed off brick. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad can't help it, that's the way he's always been, you know what I mean, he's always just been the man's man, right? And if I could give you guys an example of my father, it would be when I was five years old, uh, my father walked in on me taking a deuce, right? And he walks in and finds his five-year-old son sitting on the toilet making rudimentary cave drawings with his own feces. <laughs> Gross, right? I know, I was five, people, grow the fuck up, alright? Oh. <laughs> I only do that shit on weekends now, so... <laughs> my father walks in, sees me drawing with my poop, and he has no idea what to think of the situation, because it's not a good write a book for that shit. So my father does the only thing he can think of, which is smiles, and grabs me by my little boy arms, and does one of these. <laughs> and he threw me so fucking hard that I went out of the bathroom, across the hallway, into their bedroom, bounced off of their bed, and went hit the fucking wall. When I hit it, I did one of those little cartoons on my way down. And when I woke up, my father was standing over me, tossing me around, looking for pools of blood, you know, exposed bone, little things like that. And then proceeds to make me clean up all my poop that is now, thanks to him, all around the house. And while my five-year-old ass is cleaning up poop, my father proceeds to lecture me. I know it's not such a great idea to rub your poop on the walls. Tends to make your parents overreact just a little bit. <laughs> this was the same man who, when I was younger, would make me choose who was going to beat me when I would disobey, right? Yeah, I know, silence. Ooh, that's fucked up when your parents make you choose, right? Because it's either dad in his hand or mom in her plethora of weapons. <laughs> and you're laughing because you know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? Because mom never fights fair, right? She's going to beat you with whatever the fuck is next to her. Whether it's the switch you had to go pluck, the belt right out of the fucking straps, the chew off of her foot, the toy you're playing with her own fucking hands, she doesn't care. She's going to beat the shit out of you. But you always choose mom when you get the choice, right? Exactly, but why? Great choice, audience. Glad we're participating. <laughs> You always choose mom, because mom tends to take pity on you after a while. You know what I mean? When dad's beating you, now he beats you harder because you're crying. No, son of mine's gonna cry while I'm beating him. But mom, after a while of crying and drooling and now stuttering, thanks to mom, you're doing this. I don't want any more, mama. I'm sorry. She's like, damn, I better stop. I'm making him retarded. <laughs> Shit, a few more of those, he's gonna ride the short bus for the rest of his fucking life. And I did for a very long time, so. Goes, oh, oh, everyone feels bad for the retard on stage. And it's okay, I'm in it with him for a fro. So, how many people here are, like watching movies? I enjoy watching movies. Yeah! A few people, a few people like. I like watching the previews more than the movies themselves for one main purpose the movie voice guy, right? That is one of the sexiest fucking voices I've ever heard in my entire life. And all the guys are like, not the sexy that. Come on now. That shit's sexy. But I mean, for that guy, like, do you think he can turn on and off like a switch? Like, he goes into the grocery store and, like, can I get some scratch tickets and a pack of new ports? And then can I also get uh, some lighters over there? Thanks. Or do you think, like, he can't help it at all? It's just, he's been doing that his whole life, different from birth. Wouldn't he just be the most awkward guy to do anything in the world with? Like, imagine having sex with that guy. You know what I mean? It'd be just like a movie preview. In a world where a man and a woman have to fuck to survive. <laughs> one man, one woman. He holds the key, but can he find her lock? <laughs> Washington Post says it's a non-stop action-packed thrill ride. New York Times says it'll have you on the edge of your knees till the very end. <laughs> It's the opposite of heckling right there. It threw me all up. Siskel and Eva give it. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Oh, 
way, go ahead. <laughs> she thought she could do better. He thought he was going home alone. Together they are. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, no, stop! I'm about to! Coming on a belly near you. 